What does a shark have in common with a cheese grater? Allow me to demonstrate. If I run my hand from front to back, it feels pretty smooth. But if I run my hand the opposite direction, ah! shark skin is covered in teeth. They're called dermal denticles. And much like my friend here, all the pointy ends run in the same direction. Dermal denticles are an amazing evolutionary adaptation. And no shark exemplifies this adaptation more uniquely than the two species within family Echinorhinidae, the bramble shark and the prickly shark. But what is a bramble shark? Why do sharks have skin covered in tiny teeth? And how will I ever hug a shark if I can't even shake hands with a cheese grater? We'll find the answer to all those questions and more as we continue exploring the tree of life. Put simply, dermal denticles on sharks and rays fulfill the same role as scales on bony fish. The biggest difference being that scales are composed of collagen and bone, while dermal denticles are, and forgive me if I said this already, teeth. The innermost layer of each denticle has a central cavity supplied with blood vessels. This is surrounded with a layer of dentine, then topped off with a layer of enamel. Dermal denticles do not increase in size as the animal grows. Instead, old denticles are shed and new ones are added to fill in the gaps, just like the teeth in their mouth. The scales of bony fishes, on the other hand, grow in size along with the animal, adding rings like those of a tree trunk. Dermal denticles are as hard as granite and as strong as steel. The crowns of each overlap with one another, so it basically creates a chainmail suit of armor made of teeth. This may sound like overkill, until you consider the fact that many shark species fall prey to other sharks, so a suit of armor can certainly come in handy. Additionally, when sharks mate, there's a lot of biting involved. To initiate breeding, male sharks latch onto the female's pectoral fin to hold her in place. In response, female shark skin has evolved to be thicker than males. Aggressive dudes being thin-skinned. Sounds about right. Dermal denticles make shark skin difficult to chew, regardless of whether you're a large predator or a tiny parasite. And the regular shedding prevents the growth of barnacles and algae. And if free health insurance wasn't enough, the streamlined structure of dermal denticles reduces drag while swimming, allowing sharks to move faster and expend less energy. Normally, dermal denticles can only be observed in detail using a microscope. But the members of genus Echinorhinus do things a little bit differently. The two members of this genus, the bramble shark and the prickly shark, have large, thorn-like dermal denticles scattered over the body's surface seemingly at random. Unlike the denticles on the rest of the body, these enlarged ones are not shed and replaced. They grow continuously during the shark's lifetime. They can be up to a half an inch wide and will sometimes grow so close together that they merge into a single, multi-pointed thing. The purpose of these double XL denticles isn't fully understood, but it likely has something to do with self-defense. And if the giant thorns covering the shark's body isn't enough to deter predators, the coat of smelly mucus that covers their skin probably does the trick. What a wonderful animal. These deep sea sharks are rarely seen and appear to be naturally uncommon. Commercial pressure for their liver oil in some countries combined with slow growth and slow reproduction has earned the bramble shark the status of endangered by the IUCN while the prickly shark is currently listed as data deficient. Dermal denticles are a defining characteristic of sharks and rays. Some sharks even have elongated denticles in front of their dorsal fins that can inject venom like a stinger. We'll learn all about venomous sharks next week, along with plenty of other weirdos, as we meet the members of Order Squaliformis, the dogfish. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know um, how you're doing today. I'm thinking about you. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you next week. Until then, 
Stay curious, stay connected, and never stop evolving.